is on YouTube and welcome back to another video but today it's not going to be a normal gaming video as you can see on my thumbnail and my title we're doing about thumbnails and how I do it and set it up and it's a free non download so you don't have to download it it kind of just sits in most places and it, it, you don't have to do all this extra stuff it kind of just you can easily click it and it's a pretty easy thing to use as well so yeah but before we go into the video i want to also say thank you for 20 subscribers i mean we just did a video about that so i if you watch to the end i'll show you that and also that thanks a lot and I can make, it tells me that I can make some more videos and better ones and keep growing this channel until we are a lot bigger and even do even better videos. But anyways, let's get into the actual video itself. So you go into the video and the first thing you want to know is Photo-P. Photo-P is a free non-download and you can easily just get it off of if you bookmark it it's very easy to do but so when you're first doing it you want to hit new project and not open from computer that's if you already started it and didn't ha didn't have time to finish it anyways you do a new project then you name it and we're just going to do it so um sorry I messed up and uh, your background, you want to have transparent. You don't want background for background, and you don't want white. You want transparent. That means you get it, change it, and make it. You can also pick if you want social, print, photo, different millions of different other things to in. And you guys can experiment it for yourself. You guys can check this out. And I'm hoping you guys actually do check this out. It's just to make thumbnails and you can make it for like Instagram, YouTube, and millions of other, but we're just doing it for YouTube thumbnails. So you hit create. And after you create it, you want to pick something for this background. Because right now, it's just a white and, and gray cubes. So you go onto it, Google, you type in, we're going to do uh grass land and you want to do p n g because that means it's uh it actually it works so as you can see you can see all the other sort of things like this type of grass and other things normally you go to image because well makes sense and then once you go to image, you want to pick out the image you want. Uh, so I'm going to pick. Uh, I'm just going to be back when I pick it because I want to actually have a good thumb. So I picked this one, grass PNG, uh transparent. And then you go and save image as. You doesn't really matter too much. Then it'll do its thing. And boom, you have it right here as a little cube. So then you can do save as, save again, and replace it. Then you minimize it because, yeah. And then you go back to Photopedia. Then you go to files and, and open in place. Now, I'm not going to do it because it's kind of... I mean, you kind of have to scroll down and everything, but we're going to do it for right now. So you look for what you want, then you can just place it and boom. Then you can cancel that out and look. You now have your grassland. Now normally you can pick how big you want it. You can actually get a photo that was bigger than this, but looks a little better. But anyways, so now that you have this, then you can pick another photo, which I'll pick, 
Um, so I have already did this little, a little cow, but I want to show you this is not a non-transparent thing. Oh yeah, and another thing is if you hold shift and this, you can make it bigger but at the same height. Because if I undo shift, now look at it. It's a little wonky. I can move it like this and all that. But anyways, if I hold shift and do it, it stays the same perfectly. So that's also another thing. Anyways, uh, so this is a non-transparent. The background kind of does not fit with it. I'll do a actual transparent. This right here, the mobile, which I use for my background, is transparent. As you can see, if I put it here, it takes whatever the shape. If it's right here, I can put it right here. It can be white as a background. It takes whatever shape. So then I'm going to shake, shift, and boom. I can make it bigger and mobile. Uh, and yeah. So let's say I like this, but maybe I don't like it that much, and I want another photo. So I'll just go, and you can take it from the URL, but normally I don't do it, I just open place. But let's get another uh, photo. And as you can see, I was doing some mobile, mobile because I was doing it on the photo P. But I want to show you. So if you download something, and it should have a black background behind this, because right here this is back blackish grayish. So this should be blackish gray. If it's kind of like this, that means when I go and put it into the thing, it'll look like this. It won't be transparent. So just remember that. Uh, yeah, anyways, let's go back to the thing. Yeah, we're so back to the photo P and sorry for the same thing all the time. It's a, yeah, but anyways, so you, so now you have your mobile, okay? Maybe you want it to be not the main subject. Maybe you want this grass. So you go to filter and then you would do glow and this. And as you can see, I can move this right here so you can see the mobile. I can make it very blurry so you boom, don't even see it. Or I can have it kind of like a green spot. Or I can have it where it's kind of there, but it's not the main subject. I can have it where it looks like exactly like it never had any glow at all. So you can kind of just mess around. I will have it like this and okay but let's say i want this green grass as well so i go to image put image down here and do the same thing you can do blow and that and there we go now you can barely see every, anything but i don't want that to be too blowy and i actually want my mobile to be not too blowy so I go back to them and unblow it because I don't need it that blow but since I already did it look you can you can only blow it even more you cannot really undo it but yeah so anyways so we're back here and you can actually click here and undo it so then you click, okay, you can undo that, and it will delete it all the way. So maybe I just want this blurry screen, and boom, it's done. I like it just the way it is. You go into files, then go to export as. Now this is important, because you want to do it as a PNG, only PNG. I mean, there's other things, but mostly PNG. And click PNG and I like it just like this but maybe some people don't I can zoom out to only see like this or I can zoom it in to have a perfectly shaped 
blowing grass. So I think and there you go. You have some nice blowing grass. So yeah, hope you like this video. Like and subscribe. Um, join the pink pack today and because you watched to the end, very good job. Very good job. Um you, the next video we'll be doing will be about DPO. So yeah, see you in the next video.